What's good, YouTube? I feel like I've been gone so long and it feels so good to be back. Look, I'm gonna update you with everything that's been going on in my life, but before I do, I wanna lay out my goals and how I look to help you in 2018. My goal with this channel is to help you avoid the same pitfalls that I experienced throughout my career, provide you with advanced educational resources, keep you highly informed, and then also show you how to get paid. <laughs> we all want to make enough to have that lifestyle that we desire to live. You all that are looking to get in IT are in a great position. With so many resources on YouTube, the internet, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, there's information overload. And what I want to do is kind of narrow some of that down for those that watch my channel, view my channel, share my videos, may watch my video one time. I want to make sure that I'm providing you with valuable information to help you get to where you want to be. Now, let's talk about what's been going on with me. If you've been following my channel, you know that I was working on Java. Yeah, about that. So Java for me was like learning how to code so I can create something of my own. I mean, I love a challenge. And for me, in my current job, I'm challenged. But, you know, networking is my passion. I'm not in networking right now. That's where I want to be. And that's where I will be when the time is right. But until then, I figured, you know, I got this YouTube channel. I got time enough to create something on my own that maybe I can make a program to change the world. Who knows? Yeah. But the more I learn the code, the more I realize what's really important to me. And what's that? It's networking. It's helping people. It's doing what I love in life and just being able to grow. Yeah. It showed me a lot. But anyway, 2018 came. And I was talking to a bunch of senior professionals, not just in tech, but just in life. And they were telling me, you know, that Duan, you know, if you have time, go ahead and get your degree. Degrees don't expire. You know, can't nobody take a degree from you. And I'm like, you're right. They was like, why not add to your portfolio with a degree? And I'm like, okay. And I was like, well, I'm not that far away from my associates. Let me go ahead and see what that do. Now, people say certifications of the college. We all know what certifications can do. Or you may not know, but I'll make sure that I inform you. I'll have a video up here that talks about that. But for me, being in the position that I was in the desk I support, certifications got me into the next level of a system administrator network roles be with my certifications. Now, to get those senior positions in companies like Cerner, you need a degree. And so I was like, okay, okay. If I get this associates, that'll just add to it. And once I get that associates, talking to someone like Mr. Bates, who's a double CCIE, was like, look, now get that CCIE. Why not? It's like, okay. And everybody that I talk to that has a CCIE tell me to get the CCIE. So with networking being my passion anyway, my goal now that I have my associates is to continue on in networking. Now, before I get the CCIE, I want to get a broader foundation with um, CCNA security and probably CCNA wireless because wireless, wireless is about to be huge. There's a lot going on with the new version of Wi-Fi and then the 5G rollout. There's a lot that's about to happen in wireless. We'll talk about that another time. Anyway, okay, I got my degree. <sighs> that was hard. I'm not going to lie. I was taking three classes. I have a family, a full-time job, and taking three classes was, I'd rather do a certification in lab every day all the time because I was taking business communications, Linux, and C++. Now, C++ wasn't as hard because I was already working on Java. So it kind of prepared me for C++. But here's the thing. Business communication is a lot of writing. It's a lot of learning. And it actually helped me on my job and it will help me in the future, you know, doing presentations, talking to executives, talking to you all, communicating and how to be able to write effectively, market effect effectively, just all types of business communications in general. That class truly helped me. Then Linux, not that strong in Linux. Linux was pretty fun. That probably was the funnest of the classes. But 
with the family, with my job, with the classes, with YouTube, with helping you all one-on-one because I helped a lot of people one-on-one. It really reached the point of pretty much burnout. I don't know if you ever experienced the point where you just have too much on your plate and you just want it removed. I mean, from Java, that was, oh my goodness. And then I was supposed to do this, the CCNA um, Cyber Ops Cohort 6. I'm just like, God, this is, I'm, I, I know I'm strong, but I just don't feel strong enough to carry this load. And so I got disqualified from the CCNA Cyber Ops because of my job. It was a conflict of interest and I couldn't do the program. So that was clear from my plate. Next thing, my Java, like I had a deadline to take the test, but I was able to push it out, which is still pushed out, you know, and that was off of my plate. And so finally, I was talking to my boy Jorgen, and he was like, look, man, you have to put yourself first. And I was like, you're right, because if I was talking to you all, I was like, look, you got to put yourself first. You got knock out school, get that done, because once that's done, you're golden. And so it's like, all right, all right, let me apply what I would tell someone else to myself. I started watching my old videos, like facts, <laughs> you know, like I got a video called Embrace the Journey right here. I started watching that and just the stuff that I would tell you all for the last year, I started watching that and playing it back for myself because I was really at a, I don't want to say a dark place, but I was just at a place to where I didn't feel I could continue at the pace I was going, like school was a lot. You know, work was, a, you know, family, There's things going on in your family, you know how that goes. You got kids, you got a wife, all that, you know, everybody has needs and you gotta make sure as a man, you attend to everybody's needs. So you know how that goes, but by the grace of God, I was able to make it through all that. So I'm here, I'm back on YouTube. My goal is to help you all as much as I can. If you have career questions, holla at me. If I can't help you, holla at my boy Zach at IT Career Questions. If you have any type of IT question, how to get paid, being black in IT, how to transition in IT, whatever it may be, how to balance life, how to lab every day, holla at me in the comment section below and I'm gonna help you get there. I thank all of you for your support. This has been such an amazing journey. Shout out to the Cisco Learner Network. Shout out to Mr. Bates for all the advice and guidance you've given me. Shout out to my boy Jorgen for all the help you've given me. Shout out to my boy Zach. Shout out to my family. I thank everybody that's been helping me get to this point, and I just want to continue helping those that need help as much as I can. I'm going to catch you all on the next one. We're about to get to it. Lab every day. It's a movement. It's going down. Yeah, I'm going to get with y'all. Peace.